All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Kim Christopher. I'm a reference librarian with the Haverford Township Free Library, and this is Reading with Reference, where, again, today I have a couple of reading recommendations to share with you. So, starting off here, I have the book Senlin Ascends by Josiah Bancroft. And the author, Bancroft, he had a really interesting concept uh, for a story, uh, which is the reason I picked it up to begin with, where, if you will, envision what would happen if the Tower of Babel had come to be. And, well, based on that premise in this alternate world where it exists, schoolmaster Thomas Senling is on his honeymoon vacation with his wife, Mayra, to the Tower. But, unfortunately, as soon as they arrive, Senling loses his wife, and during his very frantic search to find her, he finds that the tower is not as was described in his books. It's filled with uh, the corrupt criminals, all sorts of other various sort of dangers, madmen and the like, and the tower, although still a feat of engineering, it's falling apart at the cracks. And all these things combined, they put Senling in danger and hinder his search for his wife, but it doesn't matter to Senli. He is a man who is in love and on a quest to save his wife, and he will not let anything, and I mean nothing at all, stop him in his quest to find his wife and bring her home safely. And yeah, so the, that story, plus a lot of other elements, they combine to make this really great adventure story. Um, the only fantasy element in this, uh, which is why I would highly recommend this, is that Tower of Babylon element. Everything else is just this adventure story about Senlin trying to find his wife, and it has the vibe of sort of, you know, Princess Bride and Indiana Jones with its adventurous tone, um, albeit the fact that there's no fancy sword fights, the main character, he doesn't have the fedora hat, the trusty whip, or the really great-looking leather jacket we would all love to own. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just adventure story with a very interesting lead character where you relate to the lead character. Um, you feel like all the things that happens to him, all his little misadventures, one could say, uh, they feel like things that could happen to you on your own trip, uh, just, you know, to a neighboring country, state, or county, or, or just going across the world on a vacation. You know, just, they don't feel too far-fetched, you know, from getting lost, uh, finding the things in the guidebooks not described, or meeting interesting and fascinating people, you know, all those sorts of things make you relate to the main character of Senling, and you just keep rooting for him through his, all his ordeals. You want him to get home, uh, find Myra, get out of the tower safely. And yeah, it's just a great read because of that main character and the scenario he's in. But also, I would highly recommend Senling uh, Sense as a read because the author Bancroft, he did an excellent, and I mean excellent job in just crafting this uh, this fantastic world where, going back to the Indiana Jones reference, it's not just the adventurous tone, but um, the setting of this place. It Everything from the items people use, they have modern plumbing, electricity, guns, even airships or blimps if you want. Uh, the people, locations, buildings, everything. It feels like it's straight out of an Indiana Jones movie, which makes it very easy for you as the reader to envision what this fantastic world looks like. Uh, whenever I was reading it, I felt like I was quite literally watching like a sequel to the Indiana Jones original trilogy movies. Just this, yeah, it's just the setting, the writing, it is top notch. And so, yeah, I would also, I would highly recommend Sunling Reads based on the lead character of Sunling. And just the writing style, which is phenomenal. And yeah, just also just that this isn't just a fantasy story. Like I mentioned, it is an adventure story for all the traveler and tourists in us. It, it is just a story for all ages. It is a great read. So yeah, I highly recommend it and Lean Seeds uh, Sense as a reading choice. <laughs> and last here today, I have the miniseries, graphic novel series, <laughs> Coda by Simon Spurrier and Matthias Bergara. And with this um, one, it's also an interesting premise idea where what would happen if the apocalypse came to a Hobbit-esque uh, Chronicles of Narnia Game of Thrones kind of world? Um, and Simon Spurrier, he answers that question where in this unnamed fantasy world, the, the end of everything took place. 
well, not everything, where just the magical world as the inhabitants of this world knew it to be, and, well, wandering this once grand, ruined, magicless wasteland is the character of Hum, uh, who is known for his sarcastic take uh, him in response to everything, on, accompanied only by his wit and his, shall we say, psychotic unicorn companion. And, well, Hum, he's on a quest of his own in this ruined landscape to find a cure for his magically cursed wife, naturally. And, unfortunately, <laughs> the only cure may be a magical one in a land where magic, more or less, doesn't exist anymore. And so, yeah... The story alone, this makes it a fantasy series that would I would highly recommend as a read if you want a sort of new take to the genre because there's no quest to save the world, no prophecies, you know, no glorious heroes to save the day and everyone. This, the end has happened, and this is the story of the aftermath and all the characters trying to survive in this, shall we say, Mad Max uh, post-apocalyptic landscape. And, yeah, I recommend it based on just, you know, that story element and also the artwork in the series. It, in order to sort of convey just the fact that the apocalypse has happened, the artwork in this series is just absolutely gorgeous and stunning. Um, all the coloring, the lines, and at the same time, it's also terrifying to convey just how terrible the event was and it's like something out of a dream and yet at the same time out of a nightmare and yeah so i would highly recommend it based on the artwork the story but also if you want a um, series that has a really fascinating interesting cast of characters where from hum uh, accompanied by a psychotic uh unicorn there's also like this um desecrated corpse of a dragon who always shouts at people to scratch its ass and its innards because, well, it can't since it's dead. Or even Hum's uh, wife, cursed wife. She's uh, at times a gorgeous, stunning goddess of a woman. And then at other times, she's a, under her curse, she's a terrifying specter of death. And the cast of characters, the artwork, the story... It's all top-notch. Um, I sat down read the entire miniseries in one sitting. It's only 12 issues on. I, I'm sad that the series didn't go any longer than that, but after reading it, it felt appropriate. And yeah, so I highly recommend Coda as a fantasy read. It It is just amazing what they did with it. And, well, <laughs> that is everything I can say about these two things I have to recommend today. Uh... And until we see each other again next week in uh, more Reading with Reference or other reference video series, uh, please know that our library is now open. Uh, the hours are Monday through Wednesday, 10 to 8, Thursday, 10 to 6, and Friday, Saturday, 10 to uh, 5. Uh, please uh, check Catherine's Tech Time video for how to search our catalog and request items as we are now still doing our curbless, uh, contactless curbside pickup for requests. And the regular requests are also uh, working, so you can request signs like regular. And, well, until we see each other again next week, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful day, and take care, everyone.